We're back in REMS and REMS are back. Over the past two years, we've built a side that's able to compete with PSG and I think even compete in Europe. That means that this season is by far our best chance of winning a trophy. As always, I have to start by making our team even stronger. We have a good attack, but our midfield and defence are only average. We've got quite a bit of cash from making it to the Champions League quarterfinals last year, so let's use it right now. Well, first of all, we can actually get our former striker Hugo Ekatike for literally no transfer spend at all. With him joining on a free transfer, we've got a set of strikers that we can rotate, but still also win games with either of them starting. I'd say our next weakest area is probably at right back, and thankfully Man City have also decided that Issa Kabori can leave on a free transfer, and Rems will be his new hope. This just leaves the centre-back position really, and Agbadu was massive in Season 1, but not quite as good in Season 2. I've decided we're going to bring in Leon's Adrielsen to try and compete with him, and now we have a bit more depth, we have a lot more quality, and we have a team that might even be good enough to go on to win the French League and go a little bit further in the Champions League. In the interest of realism, I did also just about resist signing Kefren Charam for free, but he was the exact kind of player that we needed to upgrade on someone like Munesi or Tuma. Anyway, before we can even finish July, we have our first chance to try out our new signings in the Super Cup against Paris Saint-Germain. We did start Hugo Ekatike and Issa Kabore in this match, but the rest of our team is pretty much the same as it was last year. You can say the exact same thing about PSG though, they've not actually made any big transfers and if we can finally stop Kylian Mbappe, I'd say we have a decent chance of winning our first trophy as Stade de Rennes manager. Big mistake there from Agbadu and Mbappe threw one on one, he tried to chip our goalkeeper and thank god that he missed that one. Going behind after 5 minutes would have been absolutely devastating. I hate playing against Dembele, he just spams tricks and he always seems to get past me and he found Soler right here, we missed the tackle but Renato Sanchez, what a save that was from Edouard Mendy, this could be his season. PSG trying to recycle the ball but Ekatike's got it, that is a brilliant pass, there's some Bermo against Zubeldia, for some reason he's jockeyed and we got a bit of space and we've also opened the scoring, good pass, great finish. He's turning out to be one of my favourite signings I've ever made in any career mode that I've uploaded to this channel. I'm not going to lie to you. He's fast, he's got good dribbling on him and he can actually shoot. He scored us some very important goals and he could be massive for the rest of the season. PSG on the ball in midfield, finds Ethan Mbappe. Ball goes out wide to Garbi. Is it going to go back to Ethan? No. It's going to Renato Sanchez. Good tackle but he's got a bit of space. Another good tackle. We survive for now. Dembele, is he going to do a load of tricks? Yes he is, and he's going to smash it into the far corner. We're level again just before half time, and this is turning out to be a pretty good Super Cup final. Try and get the ball out to Mbomo, and we've committed their fullback, Kabore. He finds Hatate, surely that could have been a foul. If he'd have gone down, he probably would have got a penalty for that, but unfortunately for us, nothing given. I've only just noticed the weird scoreboard thing that's hovering in the middle of the screen. I'm not too sure what's going on there, but I'm assuming it's one of my mods that's starting to go a little bit wrong, so let's hope that's all that happens. Dembele out wide again, gets shoved over by Agbadu. What a tackle that is. Just like the other one that we had, that could easily have been a penalty. Passing it around the back now, Paris Saint-Germain, but we're going to keep trying to press them. TK, can he stop Donnarumma? Oh, he was so close to nicking the ball off him right there. Tuma. Gets into the box, does a little trick. We're going to pass this to Ekatike, surely. We just want him to score against his old team. He did actually play really well in pre-season, but in this match, other than that pass, he's not really done too much. Nakamura with the corner. Bensabiane almost scoring a header there from the corner. Kabore and Bermo. Nice turn, got a bit of space here. Not to the right player, that pass, really. But he gets him back, and Bermo, we've got Ekatike in the middle. We're going to find it. Can he... Oh, we tried to play it through his legs, but Donnarumma, just too good of a goalkeeper to let that happen. Good tackle there from Agbadu, and we see a bit of space out here on the wing. Hatate, good run here from Torre. Isaac Torre, he's like 67 rated, and that shows why he has that rating. That was absolutely terrible. Mbappe gets into the box. Thank God we got in the way of that one. Just five, ten minutes left now. Rinaldo. Back to Gonzalo Ramos, to, to Mbappe again, into the box, Dembele. What a save that is from Mendy, keeping us in this game. Do we have time for one last attack? Manetsi gets into the PSG half, but Dia can't quite get on the end of the through ball. And I think that's it. It's going to go to a penalty shootout. No extra time in the French Super Cup. We're not going to have a better chance of beating PSG and winning a trophy this season than we are from winning this penalty shootout. 
Carlos Soler, the first PSG player. Mendy goes the right way, but it's going in the back of the net anyway. Ben Sabiani, our left back, is our best penalty taker, and that's a great penalty. Straight into the top corner. Ren's second penalty taker now. Dia steps up down the middle. It's a nice penalty. Sent on a rummer flying the other way. Seni Mayulu, the youngster, gets his penalty save with the knee of Mendy. One of our biggest signings of the career now. Hatati steps up, scores. Same place as Ben Sabiani. A lot of pressure now on Ugarte. And we dive the right way and save this one too. That means if Torre, the guy that missed that really good chance in regular time can score, we win. And we go down the middle. Donnarumma also calling us out on that one. Dorami has another chance to win the game. He sends Donnarumma the wrong way. And that's it. The first trophy going to Stade de Rennes. We have a decent chance of winning the league. We could even get quite far in the Champions League this season. But I am absolutely ecstatic, to say the least, that we have won the tournament right now. Shame about the scoreboard errors. It's still on the screen right now. You can see you couldn't tell how many penalties had gone in. But Stade de Rennes, in their new retro-themed kit, they're going to lift a first trophy with Will Still as manager. It's going to be Manetsi, the captain. He's played such a big part in these first three seasons. And you imagine he's going to play a big part this season too. There we go. The trophy officially lifted. And that's the first one going into our trophy cabinet this season. As massive as that trophy was, we only had three matches before we had to play our first game of the league season. A big match against Clermont Foot. We'd already lost Edouard Mendy to a training injury for eight weeks. And Teddy Tuma looked like he was planning on retiring come the end of this year. Both of these guys are going to be massive if we really want to win the league. And so is this opening day match against Clermont Foot. If we can't get a win in this one, we're already on the back foot against PSG. We got an early chance there after 15 minutes, but the rest of the first half was basically just Clermont Foot keeping the ball. We've always struggled against possession-based teams, and it looked like this season was going to be no different. Into the second half, we decided to make a few changes. We pushed all of our players further up the pitch. We had pressing going on because we needed to win this match. Ekatike there, pressing a little bit too firm. But Dorami, he burst through from midfield, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And unlike Dorami, every other match we've played, he couldn't put that one away. Look how much that meant to Clermont Foot. But we do still have some time to try and rain on their parade. Kabori got the ball out to Nakamura. To Umbermo. Nakamura getting the 1-2. The ball came in. Ben Sabiani headed it over the crossbar. Five minutes left. We're going to keep pushing forward. We want to win this opening day match. Torre passes it through to Nakamura. And yet again, it's a brilliant save from the Clermont Foot goalkeeper. We get a corner. The ball comes out to Dorami, edge of the box. Ben Sabiani has the chance to put it in. It's a good cross, and Bermo, he somehow got outjumped by Angel Gomez. With just a couple of minutes left, we would only have a single chance left. Monetsi from the edge of the box. We've scored so many with him from that kind of area, but we couldn't score in this one. So we open the season with a boring nil-nil draw. We haven't actually had too many draws in this career, but it put a lot of pressure on our second match of the season, which is an even tougher match, this time against Olympic Lyonnais. They're the team we played our very first match with, and you might have seen there, they've strengthened their team this summer. Luka Modric is now anchoring the midfield for Olympic Lyonnais. We're not that bothered though. If we can beat PSG, even if that was in the Super Cup, we can definitely beat Lyon in the league. PSG had already played two and won two at this part of the season, so if we could get up to four points, I suppose it wouldn't be too bad for an opening month. We'd kind of learned from that first match against Clermont Foot that having a high line and pressing when the defenders had the ball was actually a really good way of making chances. We got a bit unlucky there, but the intent was definitely clear that we were going to try and force a win. Modric would take their corner, giving it to Gift Orban, another really nice signing there from Lyon, but easy to defend, and that's the kind of mistakes that we need to avoid this season. We got Mbermo on the counter-attack, but Malassia, of course, probably has a bit more pace than Mbermo. We go back to Nakamura, and we were just inches away from getting Manetsi through one-on-one. -on -one. We know he can finish in those situations, so that could have been a really nice chance. Dorami would fight for this one. Gets two tackles to bounce off him. The ball played through to him. And it's another great save from an AI goalkeeper. We really are struggling to score in this season. Nakamura's corner comes in. Agbadu can't quite get there. And Burmo's header goes just over the box. 
and already you can see we're much more threatening than we were in that first match. Dorami goes for the power shot, is blocked, but we get a rebound. Hatate can't quite deal with it. Eventually, the ball would fall to Umbermo, and yet again, it's another absolutely brilliant save from the goalkeeper, Perry. Ten minutes later, Umbermo on the ball again, finds Richardson to Dorami. We have a good run here from Manetsi. Ball flicks up, but Manetsi sees Hatate, and this is a brilliant situation. Into the box, another absolutely world-class save, that time from Hatate. Nekamura's corner comes in, and we can't quite win the header. This is turning out to be a really poor season for finishing. Nakamura gets another go from the corner. This time, Agbadu wins the header, but heads it over the bar. And that's half-time, another half without scoring a goal. We are making the chances, though, so in this second half, surely we can finally get the ball in the back of the net. Nakamura wins the ball high. Dorami, this is an absolutely amazing chance, and he's hit the post. If the goalkeeper doesn't save it, our striker seems to always struggle to actually find the target. We've now switched to a 4-2-4. We have Torre out on the wing, the young player who messed up against PSG, and it looked like we were going to give him a chance right there, but we couldn't quite. His run was offside, and that would be our last attack of the game, but there'd still be one more for Leon. Orban would find Lovric, and he had a really good run here from Fafana. We needed Mendy to save it once. He did, and twice. I guess you could say we should be happy we didn't lose, but another draw, not the best. With our first trophy secured, our first month played, and our first storyline completed, we're going to do something a little bit different today, because we're going to be skipping straight to January. Before we do that, though, I thought I'd let you know that I never actually got to finish this season. My save decided to corrupt, I can no longer load it, but I thought I'd still post this video because it was still quite a fun season to watch. There is a chance I can fix this save and post the last third of the season in a few weeks' time, but I hope you enjoy the rest of this video anyway. I didn't want you to spend the last 10 minutes watching a video just for it to end. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Before we play any games though, of course, we can kind of catch up and see how we did in the past few months in the league and Champions League. Well, I guess I'll start in the league because, as you saw, we didn't really start amazingly, but over the past 15 games, we've gone on to win 10 of them. We really can't complain because it's even better that PSG are not doing so well. This time last year, they've gone unbeaten, so the four that they've lost now is potentially massive for our title challenge. To make things even better, we've still got to play them once at home, and if we can stay top of the league come the end of January, we have a really good chance of winning the whole thing. In Europe, things went well too. We drew the first match, but then we went on to win three of the next five games, meaning we qualified for the knockouts, and you'll be seeing the first knockout round match in just a couple of minutes. But basically, that's all you have to know about what we've skipped. We've also been doing storylines too, but nothing too big really happened. We had a few academy-related ones where we replaced scouts, or looked for Australian or Chinese talents, but our team is intact and our job is still safe. So let's get playing some matches. This next match is actually the last one I managed to record in this save. We were playing in the knockout rounds of the Champions League, a big game against Sociedad, and you might have seen they had a very strange team. They had three or four English players or Premier League players at the back, Keenan Dewsbury Hall in midfield, and that meant we knew we had a decent chance of winning this. But we would still have to be on top form if we wanted to beat them, because their attack was still absolutely amazing. We got the game underway, and for the second year in a row, Stade de Ram were playing a knockout Champions League game. Ayazabal got on the ball, tried to travel it, that was one straight out of Ultimate Team, but good save from Edouard Mendy. Bule Dia, he found Nakamura overlapping, Nathan Arke's got a decent amount of pace, but we get past him so easily, and a good finesse shot, but well saved by Alex Romero. We're still trying that press high, win the ball in attack as much as we can strategy, and it's worked in the Champions League right here. Dia finds Nakamura through 1-1, another great save from the goalkeeper, Romero on fire in this one. From the corner, the ball came out to Richardson, he headed it back to Hatate. From distance, that could have found the top corner, but yet again, another wasted chance for Stade Duran. Ball goes out to Nuno Tavares, and Bermo trying to press him, but Tavares gets across, and Gabore takes him out, that was a good decision. Interesting transfer news right there, Hagazi going to Inter Miami, but Richardson finds Dia. We have an overlap from Hatate, he gets round his man, he shoots deflects off the defender and yet again Sociedad get away with some pretty poor defending but we're pressing them now their goalkeepers on the ball Nakamura was just a few inches away from blocking that and it could even have found the back of the net Tavares playing on the other side of the pitch right now I'm not too sure why Cash and Tavares are both playing right back but that's going to be half time nil nil in the first leg and we have a decent chance I think of holding on at least and trying to take this to our ground 
going for the win in the second leg. Zuma trying to play make and what a tackle that is from Dewsbury Hall. He dived in with two feet. That's the kind of tackle you can get a red card from, but I think he won the ball. This is a rare attack for Sociedad with just a few minutes left. Carrera, okay, we get the ball back. And unfortunately, the ball's just going to ricochet straight back to them. We've only got a few minutes left if we want to try and get this goal that we need. They get the ball out to Tavares. He's got Ayazabal in the middle. He finds him. Can he get around our defender? Carrera, what a tackle that was from Agbadu. He did the first big thing in the first episode, and he might have done the last big thing in the last episode, because that's exactly as far as I got. Our save doesn't load anymore. I'll try and fix this, and if I can, I'll put another episode up as soon as I can. But hopefully you enjoyed this series. I'm so sad that it's left in such a disappointing end. But if you still want to see more, please subscribe like the video if you enjoyed any of the series and again i'm sorry for how it ended i really didn't plan it to be like this but thanks for watching cheers and goodbye